Hey there, I thought today I would do a just kind of fun, chit-chatty, get ready with me. I'm not going to explain how I'm putting my makeup on when I'm doing it, but I'm just gonna kind of chit-chat with you and I will list the products that I use in the description box. That way, if you are interested in any of those, that would be great. Um, you can look it up and see what I use. So let's go ahead and get started. So today is um, Saturday, um, and I'm trying to think, what is today? Saturday is April 2nd, so April Fool's was yesterday. Luckily, nobody played any tricks on me. If anybody played any tricks on you, tell me about it in the comments below. Um, I've never been one that really gets into April Fool's, but I'll tell you... <laughs> One of the um, folks that I watch on YouTube, Melissa Autry. Okay, so she posted a video yesterday. Wasn't even thinking of the fact that um, it was April Fool's. So I kind of should have known. And it, it took me a minute before I fell for it. But she had posted this video about um, five beauty hacks like you never knew about or something. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I always love reading about beauty hacks and all this. And so she started her video and I think the first thing she did was like, hey, I bet you never knew that peanut butter on your face is like a really good like hydrating mask or moisturizer. And she's like going into all this description about how the oils, like from the peanuts, like really just give you a deep moisturizing thing. And she's like smearing peanut butter all over her face. And I'm kind of like, okay, this is a little weird, but she's doing it. And even at one point it was kind of funny. <laughs> like, she's like, don't worry, it's gonna start melting, you know, from this, the heat of your skin. And like some of it started to drip off and she like picked it up and licked it. And I was like, okay, and she's kind of goofy. She's funny, I love watching her. And so, you know, I was like, okay, that didn't really surprise me. She, she'll do anything like that. So anyway, then she um, goes on and does something else. One of them was like using a magic, like a Crayola marker for your eyebrows. Okay, at first I was like, really? And she has like this yellow marker, this black marker, and a brown marker. She's like, just get your kids markers. And you know, it's so much cheaper than Anastasia. And I was just like, okay. And she starts coloring her eyebrows and it looks crazy. So I still though was like, okay. And she gets to a point in the video where she um, uses a snack pack as like a tanner and she starts rubbing pudding like all over her arms and then I'm like oh my god I'm laughing so hard in fact I'm laughing so hard my husband comes in here and he's like what what are you watching and I'm like this girl cannot I mean she's out of her mind like she cannot be for real but I'm laughing so hard and then of course she's like April Fool's so um she's hilarious she has good videos I like I like her, I like her personality. She's sweet, she's funny, she's real. Um, but that was pretty funny. So that was kind of like the funny for me as far as April Fool's because I don't really get into it and I didn't really have anybody do anything to me and I didn't do anything to anyone. But anyway, so last night, Bruce and I went to dinner with um, our neighbors and we had we had just kind of sent out a text to a couple of our friends like hey do you want to go get something to eat and we were just going to go to this mexican place that um is right by our house that's really really good it's inexpensive they got 2.99 margaritas every day and they have 99 cent draft beer um like a big mug of beer for 99 cents so it's like how can you miss that but they said, um, hey, would you guys actually want to go to this barbecue place? It's about 30 minutes from our house. They're like, we, you know, recently kind of discovered it. It's really good. And so we went. It's a real small place, but it was so good. Um, Bruce and I, we like split this meal that was like ribs, pulled pork, chopped chicken. Um, by the way, okay. 
sorry, just I'm stopping in my story. I'm trying this new butter bronzer um, by Physicians Formula, which I hauled. It smells like suntan lotion, like coconuts. It smells so good. So anyway, so yeah, we went to this barbecue place and we, um, Bruce and I shared a meal because it was kind of like a lot of food for one person. So it was perfect that we shared, but it was really good. And we had a nice time with our neighbors. They're so sweet. They have a little boy um, who will be two this summer. And he was cute. He was, he was funny. So we had a good time and um, it was nice that Bruce was back home. He's been traveling so much for work and he was gone all week down in Florida and I really missed him. It's it's hard with him being away. But, you know, he just got a promotion at work and um, he's really loving his job and I'm so happy for him. It just, his job requires him to travel a little bit and so that's hard sometimes, but I think each time he goes, it gets easier, you know, easier and easier. I mean, I definitely still miss him, but yeah. So anyway, um, I cannot get this blush open. Um, so anyway, this today, tonight, on Friday at work, he texts me and was like, do you want to go on a date Saturday night? Which I thought was kind of cool. I like when you get a text from your husband asking you to go on a date. And um, I said, sure. So he made reservations at this really nice um, steak place called the Strip Club, um, which sounds funny. And like whenever you tell people you're going there, they're like, where are you going? But um, it's kind of a play on words, right, with strip steak. So it's a strip club. And actually, it's decorated really cute inside. It's like like old-fashioned like pinup models from the 30s and 40s kind of in like boudoir type pictures. Um, and there is like an old brass stripper pole in there, but no strippers, so. But it's a really nice steak place in a really cute little downtown area, so. I'm excited to go there um, and have a little date night with him. So it should be really good. Um, we've been there several times. In fact, the same neighbors that we went out to eat with last night actually were the ones who introduced it to us and um, we really, really like it. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, so our reservations are at like 6.45, I think. And it's, I was lazy. I totally, it's three o'clock. So I totally, not gonna lie, slept in today till like after 11 o'clock. I've not done that in a long time. I do really like to sleep in. And recently, like every day this week, I have woken up with the most terrible headache. And it is like, almost like, you can't even like focus. You're, it's almost like you feel stunned or something. I mean, I never been punched in the face or anything, but it's almost like, I imagine that's like what a person boxing or something feels like. Cause it was just almost like this stunned feeling that I woke up with. And so I actually woke up about seven this morning and I was like, Oh my gosh. I mean, my head hurts so bad. So I got up and got some um, like allergy headache medicine. So right now, um, where I live, um, there is a ton of pollen and I'm talking like, I'm not used to this because in Ohio, I mean, we have allergy season, but it's not like this, but down here, it literally like covers your cars. You have to use your windshield wipers to see when you leave work because it, your windshield wipers are covered. Um, it covers everything, so like our patio furniture, like it's so nice, but we can't really sit outside because you have to wipe everything off and then you're like inhaling all of this pollen that makes you feel awful. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with and I think that's why I've been having headaches. Like I never had allergies until I moved down here and once I did, um, I was getting these like sinus infections in the spring 
And finally, like after the second year of having that, my doctor was like, I think you have allergies. And I'm like, I've never had allergies, but um, I guess it's down here. It's just the pollen is so much stronger. So comment below if you have like crazy pollen where you live. I kind of get the feeling it's like a southern thing, um, but it is absolutely crazy how bad the pollen is. And I woke up with this headache that was like oh, the worst I had this whole week. And my one uh, friend at work, so sweet, she's really into um, like all of the natural oils and um, essential oils and stuff like that. And so she brought me one in that was like specifically for headaches. And you like, you like put it on your um, temples, you put it like between your eyes, you put it like behind your ears and stuff and on your neck and it gives you relief and so I also did that and I mean I really think that stuff works and the one she gave me I'm gonna go look she got it at Marshall's I think and it was only $4.99 and it actually said headache on the bottle and it's got like eucalyptus and different things in it but I'm like gosh I it I really felt like it helped so I am going to go try to find that um, and see because it was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, so that's really kind of what our plans are for the weekend. Um, I'm really excited because next weekend um, my parents are coming to visit and my sister, um, Brianne, She's one of my younger sisters. Well, all of my sisters are younger because I'm the oldest. But she's like my second young, second to youngest sister. And she has um, two little kids, my niece, Myla, and uh, my nephew, Henry. And Myla just turned six on Thursday. And Henry will be two in August. So I'm really, really excited for them to come because... Um, I just love them and I miss them and I, I don't get to see them that often and so um, I, I'm just like super excited they're coming. I think we're going to go to this little zoo that we have nearby and um, I think we'll like cook out and just do some different family things so I'm really really looking forward to that this weekend or this coming weekend seeing them. Oh they're so sweet and I'll give uh, my niece her birthday gifts and I have been doing some shopping like I hit the mother load at TJ Maxx last weekend of clothing for her I found so many cute things and they had um that store um justice that like little girls love um sometimes they have it like in the mall or different places but that store justice had had like must have sent a bunch of stuff to TJ Maxx so they had a ton of cute little clothes, so I got her a couple different outfits um, from there. And then I found her um, the cutest little pineapple bikini at Target. Oh my gosh. So I cannot wait to see her and give it to her. She's also really into Shopkins, so I don't know if any of you that have kids or nieces or whatever are like into those little Shopkins. But they're like these just tiny little figurines. They're so little. I don't really understand like what you do with them. I think you just kind of play with them. But they're like these just really little tiny figurines. They're different shapes like food shapes and I don't know. All kind of different things. But they're <laughs> really cute. So I got her a couple Shopkins things from Target. Because I got her mostly clothes. That's what my sister said. She really needed some clothes. But, you know, six-year-olds are not going to be happy if they just get clothes. So, of course, I had to get her something else. But I think she'll be happy. I'm excited. We're going to celebrate her birthday. We're going to celebrate my dad's birthday, which his birthday was March 9th. And we're going to celebrate my hubby's birthday, which his was March 12th. So... We should have a really good time 
celebrating all these birthdays that we had and just spending time with family. So fun. So awesome. Like I said, love my nieces and nephews. They are definitely ones that I miss so, so much. You know, I love living down here. Bruce and I have really enjoyed it. And we both can really see ourselves being here for a long time or forever. So, you know, the one downfall to that is all of our families in Ohio. And we're down here. But fortunately, a lot of people do like to visit us because... You know, who doesn't want to visit the South? So. Oh, I know something I wanted to ask you guys. What do you guys think about doing like um, a question and answer video? So if you're watching this video, go ahead and put some questions down below that you want me to answer. And I could do like a Q&A or something, you know, get to know me type thing. Any questions you have, anything you want to know, um, I could do like a little q and A. I I think that would be so fun. Um, so yeah, put your questions down below. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how hard it is to talk and put on eyeliner. This eyeliner is like super waterproof so you do have to be careful because you've got to get it on just right because you're not getting it off if you make a mistake <laughs> I love it it came in my ipsy bag it's by scone cosmetics it's called insanely intense tattooed you're going to actually see this in my monthly favorites video that I'm going to be actually recording after this after I get ready um so Awesome. Love it. Um, and I actually have a couple other hauls coming up of some things that I've purchased. Some makeup and some other things. I had um, my best friend was here last weekend and we did quite a bit of shopping together like we always do. Um, we tend to feed off of each other and it's funny like we really enjoy the same things the same kind of stores so a lot of our purchases are very similar and um, we always just have a great time so I definitely miss her we had such a fun time she lives in Ohio so she has been so sweet throughout the past four years um, that I've been down here to, you know, make a trip down and spend a long weekend with me. And, you know, it was funny while she was here, we were kind of talking about the fact that it's almost like we've grown even closer, even though the farther, further apart we are. And we're like the type of friend that, you know, we can go for several weeks without talking, but like, or even, you know, months without seeing each other. But it's like when you, once we do, it's like we never were gone. And uh, I, I always am teasing her like, oh my gosh, I just want you to move down here because we would just be out of control. <laughs> We'd have so much fun. But. So, anyway. Um, I think I'm gonna try some lashes. I tried these ones that I got in my Ipsy box. They were this Ilore London Naturals. That's what they look like. I already used them and had to pitch them out. But I found some more. And then I bought even more. So I'm going to try putting this pair on. We'll see. That's one thing. Like, I'm really learning with false lashes. I'm not great at them at all. So this is actually probably going to be really super weird and awkward for me to do <laughs> on camera. But I figure we're chit-chatting, so who cares. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm really, I'm 
starting to, I feel like I'm starting to do better with getting videos done. I actually have some that are already pre-recorded that I just need to get posted. Um, I plan on recording a couple more today. I really love doing it. I love, I love, um, talking with you guys and hearing from you guys and it's just awesome. And I don't know what's up with this glue. It's like, it's dried out or something. Not sure. It's kind of like a little thing and you stick this plastic thing down in it, but it almost feels like it's dried out. But let me grab my other one because I know it's not. I just used it last week. Yeah, that one was dried out. So, I'm really excited that the nice weather is here. We've been in the um, 70s down here, and it's been really nice. I need to get my butt outside and get some walking done and just... I need to get on my game. It's pretty sad. I do have a treadmill that I try to do and I got um, a new Fitbit. My Fitbit had died. And so I got a new one. It has this applicator thing, but that I just don't feel like that's gonna work. So I just need to put them on. Again, another thing that's kind of hard to do and talk. And then I normally I go back over it with my eyeliner because I feel like, I don't know why, but I just always feel like I have to touch that up. But I really like these lashes, these eye lore. These are like the natural ones, so they're not like super crazy but they feel like lightweight and I feel like they're really wearable like all day. They don't feel uncomfortable. I like them. So, um, I have a lot of friends who are on vacation this week for spring break and I'm so jealous. They're like in Florida. I have somebody I know that's in Disney World and um, I hope that they are just having a great time. Um, I have a vacation in the summer, um, to Florida coming up in July. And, um, I'm really looking forward to it. Then I have a cruise in October for my mother-in-law's uh, 60th birthday. And I've never been on a cruise before, but my mother-in-law loves, my mother and um, father-in-law love cruises. And that's definitely what she wants to do. So we are doing that. I think it'll be fun. Um, my hubby has been on a cruise before. It was like something he won, I think, from work or something. And so it was a little different because basically he was kind of like by himself because he won like a contest, but it was just for him. And I don't even think there was anybody from his actual work site. It was like other work sites. 
So that's the only cruise he's ever been on. I think he liked it. I think he would have wished he had somebody there that he knew. I think that would be hard. But, yeah, I want to go to Walmart because I heard, or I think I saw on Instagram, somebody had posted some of these um, earrings that looked like Kendra Scott inspired and they had them at Walmart. And so, I love Walmart jewelry. So cute. So, I'm kind of interested to go find some. And see what they got. <sighs> I've really been loving this too. This is from the brand Essence that you can get at Alta. And it's just like a little, it's called lip, liquid lipstick. And it says 01 color party. I don't know what that means. I don't know if Color Party is like the line or if that's the actual one color. Because then it also kind of says below it like Cosanova, C-O-S-O-N-O-V-A. But anyway, but I like it. Just kind of a pale. Okay, well that is it. Thank you so much for chit-chatting. Don't forget to put some questions below that you wanna ask me in um, a video that I'll post in answering your questions. Um, don't forget to tell me if you had any April Fool's pranks that happened to you and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks.